Hello everyone, this is Fabio back here with your weekly money tip. Today's topic is making bi-weekly mortgage payments. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Is it for me or it's not for me? So that's something that we always talk about on the closing table. I have a lot of clients that want to set that up right away. And I look at them and I look at their financial situation and it's not for everybody. So I wanted to clarify that, that don't jump into it before you talk to a financial planner or to a loan also that can analyze the situation. I have three questions from my clients um, that you know they need to answer before they jump into the bar weekly payments. Question number one, is the mortgage debt the only debt you have? Uh, because if you still have student loans, credit card loans, car loans, then you should send additional money towards the principal of those loans, not towards the mortgage, okay? Mortgage debt is the only tax deductible loan you can have nowadays. Um, so why not pay off what's not tax deductible before you pay off what's tax deductible, right? Makes sense. Uh, number two, do you have six months reserve saved, okay? Everyone needs to have an account with six months reserves or their monthly expenses. So for example, if your monthly expenses is $5,000 a month, you should have $30,000 saved somewhere. In case something happens, you can get laid off, you can get sick. You know, God forbid something happens and you cannot work. And then before you default on your mortgage, you will have a few months reserves. Um, and number three, are you saving money towards retirement? So if you're not saving money or saving money towards your 401k or an IRA, then you may not be ready to start paying off your mortgage yet. So first things first, save, you know, start saving for retirement. And if you can afford to add money towards the principal after that, then you may be able to do it. Okay. Um, there's an awesome book that I read in the beginning of my mortgage career. It's called Ordinary People, Extraordinary Wealth by Rick Eldman. It gives you some amazing financial tips. Um, if you want to, you know, look at an audio book, you can listen to it. Some great financial tips, especially towards mortgage payments. Um, in my opinion, you shouldn't focus on paying off your mortgage too soon. I think you should just focus on paying off your mortgage after you're 50 years old, not before. A mortgage equity will give you 0% return on investment, where if you put the money in a stock market or in a retirement account, you will give you a return. So when you're young, you have more time to save. And by the time you turn 50, hopefully you have a lot of money saved in a retirement account. Then you can focus on paying off your mortgage. Okay. So um, this is just a tip for me. I hope you enjoy it. Have a great week.